Good afternoon everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. I'm gonna try to block the wind here a little bit. It is a windy day out here on Breach Inlet. It's probably been a month since I last came out here. I've been <laughs> stuck on Shem because it's been cold, but we got a little bit of a warmer day. It's about 57, 58 today. The wind's kind of subtracting and taking away from that a little bit, but that's all right. We have an outgoing tide. I think it's about three and a half hours until low tide, which will be after dark. That's why I'm out here now. I'm hoping to get a good three hours-ish of fishing in before uh, I have to get off when it gets dark. I'm gonna be fishing mainly artificial today. However, if the opportunity presents itself, I am going to try to find some sheep's head using oysters. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna start fishing, see if I can find some trout, redfish, maybe a flounder, I don't know. Stay tuned and wish me luck. Hopefully I get some fish in the cooler I can bring home for dinner. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy. All right, I am starting out with the DOA shrimp. I uh, really enjoyed using it the other day. Hoping it can uh, help me out again. Going to put some Procure on there. And I'm casting cross current. Current's going out, so it's going to my right here. And going to let this kind of free float in the current. See if someone, probably a trout, will pick it up. We'll see, it's probably gonna get pushed around a lot by the wind. So I might have to keep my rod tip down. See what happens. Got a decent amount of distance on it. Oh, that's a pretty good trout. All right. First trout was up super shallow, which was surprising. Pretty good length on him. Beautiful fish. Tore up my DOA shrimp a little bit. See his length. He is 15. All right. In the cooler he goes. <laughs> tiny, tiny flounder. He dropped himself on my measuring board. I wouldn't have measured him otherwise, but he's like 10 inches. See you, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's good. Went ahead and switched to the Krusty Krab lure. That's what caught me the couple of big reds last time. Out on Shem. Oh, I just got bit. Crab lure strikes again. This guy really ate it. All right, well, he's 15 and a half. If I can't get this out in a second, I'm gonna have to keep him, unfortunately. Let's see, he'll swim off. Ah, no, he swam off, okay. Guess he's gonna be fine. Okay. Well, I made the decision to switch to sheep's head fishing. Got my Carolina rig, half ounce egg sinker, little uh, bag of oyster if you wanna see how to tie those. I have another video where I show how to do this. I'll link that down below. I'm going to drop down next to some of these deeper pillars. The hook has a loop knot attached to it and it's a number two J hook. Nice and small, so I can uh, get a good hook set on them. I'm getting bit. Oh, they're down there. Awesome. Oh, he took my hook? What the heck? 
Oh, poor guy. There we go. Ooh, that might be a keeper. If it's not, it's very close. Let's get a quick measurement. See if he's 14. He is a nose over 14, so he gets to come home. Small guy. Oh, what are you? Oh, this is like a tiny sea bass, I think. All right, well, don't mess up my bait here. That's another good one. Figuring something out here. Oh, hook came right out. Nice. Quick measurement. Ooh, he's just over 14, like 14 and a quarter. All right, they're still down there, still biting. I have like five minutes to try to make this happen. One more fish, hopefully, but this is my last bait regardless. This is a big one. Oh. <laughs> Shoot, that one was big. <sighs> okay, well, it is probably about 5.15, so I gotta hustle off the water right now. Not a bad day of fishing. Uh, I broke off that big sheep's head like 10 seconds ago. I guess it could have been a black drum, but I think it was a sheep's head. The way it, I didn't even feel it was there. I just set the hook and Ugh. Anyway, but I got two keeper sheeps in the cooler. I got a trout. Uh, I caught a small redfish, small flounder on artificial earlier, making for possibly my smallest inshore slam of all time. Uh, it was like a 15 inch trout, 15 and a half inch redfish, and like a nine or 10 inch flounder, very tiny. But the uh, sheep's head bite was on. Next time I come out, I'm definitely just sheep's head fishing and I'm coming to the stock first. A little hodgepodge of fishing techniques in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day and remember to make some time for fishing. Mm -hmm.